For millions of Americans, the sound of ice cream bells triggers sweet childhood memories. The good humor man, and others like him, was once a deeply woven part of summer. But you could set your watch by the good humor man showing up every day at the same place at the same time. But now the good humor man is an endangered species in many places. 21-year-old Ed Chiampi is the first ice cream man to work this Long Island neighborhood in 15 years. In fact, when Chiampi first appeared, many kids didn't know what he was. They'd run in, they'd come up to the truck first, puzzled, figure out what I was, run in the house, tell their parents that the ice cream truck would come back. The parents would come out sort of, you know, unbelieving that they could be the ice cream man. Italian ice. While the taste for ice cream remains constant, the business has radically changed. The first good humor truck rolled onto the streets of Detroit in 1928. For the next three decades, ice cream men prospered, with portable sales peaking in the 50s, courtesy of gobbling baby boomers. But then profits melted and about half the good humor trucks were put out to pasture. Frozen Glacier, the ice cream under the dome. The advent of designer ice cream brands and expanded supermarket selections hit mobile ice cream sales hard. Competition became intense. But it was the oil embargo in the mid-70s that began the demise of the local ice cream man. High gasoline and union costs forced good humor and other outfits to change. Today, in some neighborhoods, the old ice cream truck has been replaced by the ice cream moped. Somehow, it's just not the same. And neither is the ice cream man. To avoid the unions, good humor men no longer work for the company. Instead, they are independent contractors, leasing the truck and buying the product outright. Ed Chiampi sets his own schedule, and get this, he wears a beeper. I figured it would be a good idea because I have a lot of customers that buy every single day. And if I don't show, their kids are upset. The kids can also be a bit different these days. Seven-year-old Eric is health conscious, so he stays away from chocolate. Well, it keeps me awake. What does? Uh, um, chocolate, because of the caffeine. So you don't eat chocolate? No. Because of Eric and his friends, Chiampi nets about $500 a week, proving there is a place for the good humor man, as long as kids scream... I got this, Lauren! ...for ice cream. Bill O'Reilly, ABC News, New York.